I want to bring my next guest here at Cybertrain University. It's John Thomas. Now, I know John for a very, very long time. He's, he's, he's a basically a 50-year veteran when it comes to – hold on one second. Let me just fix this up. Hold on. Oh, one second. I'm sorry about that, guys. I just want to share our screen. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Hope everybody can see it okay. All right, good. So, um, yeah, so we have John Thomas here, and he's basically – he's known for the mad hedge fund trader. He's basically going to talk a little, about, a little bit about the coronavirus, which I guess you guys heard a little bit about, right? That's been pretty fun. Well, guess what? There's been a lot of stocks that have been trading regarding coronavirus. And, you know, one thing I do like about, you know, to John is that John more or less trades a little bit like me. And when you've been around the block for a long time, you just when – you, when you experience the financial crisis, you, you experience, you know, the – the internet bubble, uh, I mean, the list goes on and on, the 9-11, the, the whatever it is. You know, unfortunately, catastrophes do make opportunities. But, uh, but there's also things that also move why gold will obviously do the opposite, oil will do the opposite. And I think, uh, you know, you, you'll learn a lot just listening to John. And once again, he's going to tell you a little bit about his promotion at the end of it to kind of give you a little taste of uh, everything that we're talking about. So let me just pass everything over to him. Uh, John, once again, thanks for, thanks for coming again. And the stage is all yours. All right, everyone, just stand by. We're just waiting for John to turn on his mic. Oh, looks like he did it. Okay, Fausto, can you hear me now? We hear you now, John. Very good. Uh, okay, great. Well, today I'm going to talk about trading the chaos. We certainly have chaos coming out of our ears these days. Hello, everyone. I'm John Thomas, the Mad Hedge Fund Trader, and we're going to talk about a lot of things today. Uh, first of all, let me tell you a little bit about me, and then well, jo well, John, could you take over the screen? You get your PowerPoint up and running. Uh, yeah. Um, let me get there. Uh, let me get there. Share. Uh, do you want to continue? Uh, can you see anything yet? No, we don't see anything. You're not. Uh, you haven't clicked. There you go. There you go. Perfect. All right. Just want to make sure everybody saw everything okay. Uh, okay. So let's go back to the beginning. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, that's me, 50-year veteran of the markets. And uh, we have a lot to talk about today. So let me get the show on the road. Uh, first of all, uh, why should you listen to me? Well, I am a 50-year market veteran, uh, 10 years as the economist correspondent in Tokyo, Japan, and later the White House. 10 years running the International Equity Division at Morgan Stanley. Few of you may have heard of that. Little brief time out as a Marine Corps combat pilot in Desert Storm. Then 10 years running the first international dedicated hedge fund. Five years fracking for natural gas in Texas. I still have oil under my fingernails from that one. And now 12 years publishing the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader. I am one of a handful of founders of the modern hedge fund industry who is still breathing. Uh, my family origins are very humble. I grew up as the oldest of seven children on a remote farm in Southern California, lived the all-American childhood playing Little League baseball, and later on becoming an Eagle Scout. Wasn't much to do in the old days in California except hunting, so I picked up a job as a paper boy for the Los Angeles Herald Examiner. One of the first papers ever delivered was on the Kennedy assassination. Didn't take me long to find the stock pages, so I bought IBM at 20 and sold it at 30. Suddenly found a far better way to make money than delivering newspapers on the back of a bicycle. By the time I was 16, I earned, earned enough money to fly to Europe, and that's when flying to Europe cost a fortune. 
by the age of 17, had visited more than 50 countries and spoke four languages. Uh, at UCLA, I majored in math and DNA research, and that landed me a job at the nuclear test site in Nevada. Their yield didn't mean interest paid, but millions of Russians killed. I didn't see much of a future in that, so the government sent me to Southeast Asia for a few, few years of what they called research, uh, where I learned how to fly a plane and jump out of them. Uh, there I advised the militaries of America's Asian allies. And this is where research meant carrying around a 45 caliber World War II Sten gun, which weighed a ton. Uh, at the end of my 10 years of government service, I ended up with a box full of medals, which I trot out once a year on Veterans Day. Uh, as a foreign correspondent, I covered China during the Cultural Revolution, was the first American reporter to visit North Korea since the Korean War, and Whoa. covered the rest of the continent all the way to India. Uh, I figured out quickly you didn't have to be that smart to make money in the stock market. So I got into the industry joining Morgan Stanley. Uh, after 10 years there, I started my own hedge fund. And there's my old ID from Morgan Stanley. And I, I can see you all thinking, boy, the years have been cruel. And, and they kind of have. Uh, that's me getting the daylights beat out of me at the Japan National Karate Championships. Wow. I lost. Uh, Word to the wise, never go to a karate final with a broken wrist, which I did, uh, but I wanted to go so I could at least say I made it to the finals, even though I lost. It still hurts me whenever it's about to rain. Uh, rapidly became the top performing hedge fund manager of the 1990s, eventually bringing in a 1,000% return in 10 years. And this was back in the days when there were only 115 hedge funds. Today, there are about 10,000 managing $4 trillion worth of assets. Then the really big money really started to pour in. It's an understatement to say that when your income goes from the thousands to the tens of millions, it really has a big impact on your lifestyle. You get to have your own private plane, fly you whenever you want, buy the latest hot car, go marlin fishing in Mexico, and collect Rolls Royces just for fun. That's my 1925 uh, Rolls Royce Silver Ghost at Pebble Beach. Sold my hedge fund in 2000, retired to go into the oil and gas industry. After making a killing there, I missed the stock market and started the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader in 2008. Uh, I now spend my days pursuing my first love, finding winning trade alerts, but now I do it from my three mansions in San Francisco, Lake Tahoe and uh, Zermatt, Switzerland. And I've quit turning millionaires into billionaires. There's far more satisfaction leveling the playing field for the average guy and teaching them how to trade. And that includes you guys. If I can take a $50,000 account and turn it into 500,000, that is far more job satisfaction than I could ever get anywhere else. However, every silver lining has a cloud. That's my 2018 tax return shows I made uh, $10.5 million trading, $3.8 million in taxes, yikes. Uh, at least I can pay that amount of tax and not have it affect my lifestyle, unlike earlier days in my career. The little free time I have left, I pursue my other love, flying vintage aircraft on weekends. You see an old plane flying loops over San Francisco or London these days, it's probably me. The ultimate luxury, of course, is to give to those who need it. Uh, as a Marine Corps veteran, I volunteer for grief counseling for widows and orphans, uh, and I'm a major donor to wounded warriors. When wildfires hit California, I visited the main evacuation centers and handed out $10,000 worth of Target gift cards. This is the home of one of my in-laws, and you can see absolutely burned to the ground uh, the only things that survived were the uh, crockery and my uh, aunt, uh, my in-laws were using this sifting box to look for a wedding ring. Fortunately, they eventually found it. So what is the smart money doing right now? Well, it's keeping cash, waiting for stocks to bottom out, running their longs in bonds, hedging out downside market risks with put options, defensive sectors, bear ETFs and volatility plays. And they're also buying gold and silver on dips 
uh, to hedge remaining equity positions. And if you're wondering why I'm in such a good mood in that picture, that's because I'm flying a P-51 Mustang. Uh, and if you don't know what a P-51 Mustang is, uh, that is Geraldine based in Florida, uh, who I get around to flying once a year. You know, with a 2000 horsepower engine, it's kind of a cross between a, a piston engine and a jet plane. Um, this particular plane is a World War II veteran. Global economy, it's suffice to say, has been coroned. Uh, fears of a global recession are driving all investment decisions now. The economy is still intact, but it may take months for the corona slowdown to reflect in the data points. That means all data points for the economy now are utterly useless because they are completely out of date. Tech and biotech will lead the recovery, but you may be able to get them 20% to 30% cheaper out the other side of this correction. Global quantitative easing will limit uh, any downside. Governments all around the world are doing everything they can to support their economies with QE. And I just heard today that Hong Kong is handing out $1,256 to each person to spend in the local economy to uh, prevent a recession. It's an interesting experiment. It'll be interesting to see if it works. Strong dollar is another big corona beneficiary. Everybody's selling everything and running into the US dollar uh, to hide out. Stocks, to say we have contagion fears uh, now would be an understatement. Uh, after hitting a few villages in Italy, uh, it triggered the first ever down, back to back down thousand point days in the stock market. The outbreak was traced to two Chinese tourists in Rome who decided to go tour the Tuscan countryside. The government then quarantined all 11 villages that they visited. That showed that the virus was going global instead of being limited to China, and that triggered one of the sharpest sell-offs in market history. 7.8 correction, so far 10% is next, could get as bad as a 20% correction uh, which is what we saw in the fourth quarter of 2018. Sell-off only lasts a few months. Uh, after that, we'll probably run to a new high after the election, once we find out uh, who the president is going to be. Uh, you know, virus sp spikes tend to be very, very short term uh, and have minimal effects on the economy. So uh, we were recommending to all our customers load up on volatility positions in January. People have already gotten doubles and triples on those positions. It's really been the huge winner of 2020 in addition to gold, which we also were recommending. Uh, continue to focus on big tech and biotech. Best buy point of the year is approaching, probably only a month or two off, uh, by the next big dip for a run to new highs. I told him to talk to uh, you. S&P 500. Uh, now, what I'm going to show you here is a series of charts. Uh, and these blue boxes are the buy and sell uh, signals issued by our in-house trading algorithm. Uh, hey, uh, Fausto, if you can hear me, there's somebody talking in the background. Okay. Needs it's like 102. Uh, so... Uh, we had a buy signal here in October for the SPIs, another buy at that sell-off in the beginning of December. Uh, we had a, our index, our algorithms were screaming sell through the whole second half of January. We got everybody out of uh, most positions, went into the sell-off 100% cash. Uh, we expect the uh, sell-off to continue a little bit more. We get a major buy down here, and then it's off to a new high. We're looking for 3500 and the S&P 500 by the end of this year. Uh, similar sort of chart with NASDAQ. We actually played a short play uh, in September, uh, got the sell off there, went long the beginning of October, and basically it was buy, 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 all the way to the end of the year. Again in January, got everybody out, got everybody into 100% cash. We look for a major sell off to finish in the next month or two, and then go long once again for a run to new highs. Uh, Microsoft, one of our favorites, uh, big in the cloud, catching up with Amazon, looking for $200 a share by the end of the year. Uh, we had a buy signal here in October, 
another buy in December and uh, a sell in January. And we're out of the stock now, waiting for the uh, Corona sell-off to finish. Then we'll go back in looking for a move to 200. Uh, Apple is, uh, of course, a big Corona target. Um, all of their stores in China were closed two weeks ago. Half of them have since Reopen so the corona recovery already is starting in the where the uh, uh, epidemic started uh, and only when you see it wind down in other countries will you find the bottom in this market so that's you want to be looking for on the news front uh, you can see we've had a ton of buy signals in Apple Apple all year we caught the whole double last year we had a buy here a buy here a buy here got out of everything in January when we hit. Uh, PE multiple of 20 uh, for Apple. That's up from seven in the uh, 09 crash. And uh, again, after a major sell-off, looking for a buy and then a new high. $400 for Apple is totally doable this year. Uh, Amazon has been the uh, laggard fang and only really started moving in December after a pretty dead year. We got a buy here, got a buy here in December got a buy at the end of the year, and then after that, it was off to the races. Then we came out of everything in January, looking for a major dip. We've already gone back into this one, but we did it with a very deep in the money call spread. Uh, that seems to be the low risk play in this kind of market. Uh, PayPal, we think FinTech is taking over the financial world. Banks will be your next buggy whip makers. Banks will have to close all their branches in the next 10 years, then buy out fintech companies and move your personal finance 100% online. PayPal is one of the leaders in this sector, got absolutely creamed in the sell-off this week, looking for a, uh, another buy fairly soon in this. We'll see if the 200-day moving average holds here. For that, we had an algorithm buy here, a buy here, and then a... Uh, uh, go 100% cash right here. NVIDIA has been the hottest of the hot stocks. We've been in this since the 50s, several years ago. Uh, there's really a monopoly in the major chip companies, uh, only three of them in the world that trade. And, uh, you know, the whole world needs more chips. Uh, you know, 5G is going to lead to a tenfold increase in demand for chips worldwide. NVIDIA is the Cadillac or the Rolls-Royce play in that sector. We've been buying every dip for many years, buy here, buy here, but got out of everything when the market went berserk, looking to get back in there with a target of $400. <clears throat> uh, Salesforce, this is a major cloud stock, uh, symbol is CRM or customer relationship management. And again, we've been buying this thing all year bought on the dip here, bought on the dip here, came out here and uh, we, you know, we went into the crash 100% cash. That means we sold ev absolutely everything we own as a short-term trader, we can do that sort of thing. Uh, you know, uh, but not if you're a long-term investor. Again, looking to buy this on the dip, targeting $250 a share. Uh, Boeing uh, has been a real range trader all year. Uh, I happen to be a combat pilot and a commercial pilot, so I know, know something about Boeing's problems. Uh, this is the best run company in America, accounts for 3% of GDP, has the best dividend uh, track record in the country over the last 20 years, 20 years of consecutive increases in dividends, and they've also been the largest buyers of shares of the last 20 years. So we don't think it goes much lower. You know, we. We sold the rally back here, bought the dip, sold the rally, bought the dip. Our algorithm is telling us what to do every step of the way. Uh, we're out of the stock now, uh, waiting to buy maybe around 280 or so. Then after that, once the 787 MAX gets recertified, uh, we're looking for a target of 450. This may be one of your biggest gainers for the second half of 2020. Uh, Walt Disney, another great quality stock, absolutely destroyed by the virus. Obviously, if you're worried about, uh, you know, catching coronavirus, you're not going to go stand in a long line uh, waiting to get on a ride in Disneyland, and you're not going to take one of their cruises yesterday, you know, or stay in one of their uh, 
big hotel. So uh, temporary dip in a fantastic company. We see uh, $200 a share in this stock. 40% uh, of all ticket sales in the United States last year uh, were for Disney movies. So they have monster market share that's even increasing. Uh, bonds, we've had uh, a, a rally for the ages, uh, all-time low interest rates on U.S. Treasury bonds, all-time low 30-year uh, uh, yields at 179, 10-year yields at 131. Our original target was 131, which we hit yesterday. Uh, we think that 10-year um, uh, yields could eventually go to 1%, uh, and that's easily within range. Massive flight to safety is driving cash out of stocks into bonds on a huge scale, both from domestic investors and foreign investors. Uh, U.S. dollar rally uh, also makes U.S. bonds very attractive for foreign investors. Bottom line, uh, bonds are headed to higher highs uh, on this breakout. Uh, we were a very active trader of bonds when we had a decent range. You can see it was trading in like a 134, 148 range. For most of the year, uh, we had an algorithmic sell here, a buy here, a sell here, a buy down here. Uh, but then the ranges got so narrow, we couldn't trade anymore. We stepped out. Uh, then we finally got the buy down here, caught that whole um, 15 point, actually a 17 point move from 134 up to 152. Our final target, if we get a 10-year yield of 1%, that'll take the TLT up to about $175. So major trade there, we're already halfway into it. 10-year uh, Treasury yield, again, dropped to 131. We see it going down to 1%. So uh, home refis were up 175% uh, last week, and that'll increase uh, with record low interest rates on mortgages, uh, we are in the midst of another refi boom, but only if you still have a job. You can't get a bank loan without a job. Foreign currencies, uh, we got another big dollar spike, global recession fears and a flight to safety, also produce a big dollar rally. Uh, Euro got crushed to a one year low now. Uh, British pound fades as Brexit finally goes through. It's kind of going nowhere right now. Uh, Bitcoin broke above 10,000, but this year's panic sell-off didn't deliver the expected rally. Nobody knows why. Chinese are usually the biggest buyers of Bitcoin, and it seems like they've just completely withdrawn from the financial system and are worried about the epidemic. Aussie slaughtered because it does a huge amount of business in Asia, uh, so I would be selling short dollar rallies from here when stocks bottom out, bonds top out, you're also going to get a weak dollar when that happens. So for you foreign, foreign currency traders out there, uh, that could be your next big play. Uh, this is the UUP, the US dollar basket, and we've only been playing this from the short side. Um, we had a sell here, another sell back here, uh, and uh, we think you may get a little bit, another move, another run at the highs one more time after that a major sell-off back down to December levels. Uh, Australian dollar, you know, weak right now, but uh, on the long term, I'm saying a multi-year view here, you could get a move from 65 all the way back up to one to one. That's like a 40% increase. Uh, we think once the global economy starts to recover, commodity prices go back up, people are gonna pour into the dollar. When we started to have an economic recovery, uh, back here in 16, 17, and 18, you saw you got that move. All I'm saying is that we continue back up to this old high back here of one to one. So uh, that's probably your cleanest currency trade going forward. And you have a fantastic opportunity to get into it right now. Uh, energy has been a complete disaster. We've been telling, telling people to stay away from energy for years. We think they're having a going out of business sale. Uh, they've dropped below $50 on recession fears. China is the world's largest marginal new buyer of oil. Um, you know, they were at a peak of 13.5 million barrels a day. 
Uh, because of Corona, that demand could drop possibly to only 8 million barrels a day or a drop of 5.5 million barrels a day. With the U.S. overproducing, that is devastating for oil prices. That is devastating for oil companies. Anybody involved in the energy industries uh, are getting killed. Even the solar companies are being hurt by this because uh, solar prices uh, get dragged down by cheap energy prices. Uh, I think any price improvement from here will be temporary. Oil is in a long-term bear market, which isn't going to quit. Avoid all energy plays like the plague. No double entendre intended there. Could drop by half to $25 in the next recession. And don't get sucked into high-yielding MLPs, by the way. I know a lot of these things are yielding double digits now, but they run enormous risk with all the energy exposure that they have. Uh, here is the uh, oil chart. We're only playing this from the short side. Got a nice short back there in September, made good money on that. Got another short here at the beginning of the year. Uh, we even shorted this little mini rally here and our short-term target for oil is $42 a barrel. So avoid all energy plays. They're doing even worse than stocks. Uh, now here's a 20-year chart for oil. And you can see this kind of looks like a major long-term downtrend. We had a peak here at 150 in 2008, sort of another mini peak here in 2011 when all commodities peaked out. And since then, we've been trending down pretty convincingly. And what's happening here is the U.S. is overproducing, uh, Russia is overproducing, and demand is falling as more and more people move to electric cars alternative energy sources and so on. You know, 50% of the energy demand in the United States is from transportation. If that goes all electric in 10 years, which is entirely possible, the demand for oil is just going to completely collapse. And by the way, it's, it'll be illegal to drive uh, a gasoline engine car in many states like California and in many countries like England uh, by 2030. So not good for the price of oil. This is essentially your next buggy whip industry, along with banking, I'll, I'll, I'll add in. Uh, precious metals, we've been bullish on gold for quite a while now. Uh, that's me in the Istanbul gold market doing some Christmas shopping, and I do tend to get around a lot. Seven year high now to 1680. Uh, we had a long sideways correction in 2019. And as they say in technical analysis land, uh, the longer the sideways move, the bigger the upside breakout. We're certainly getting that right now. Only takes a 14% move to get us up to the all-time high at 1927. Um, after that, the old inflation-adjusted high is $2,300 an ounce, and we could, could run all the way to $3,000 an ounce with all of the uh, you know, central bank buying that we're seeing right now. Risk off in the world means buy gold, and boy, we're getting risk off by the bucket load right now. Uh, so bottom line, buy bigger dips in gold. Uh, if you can get gold down 100 bucks or so, take it as a gift and run it all the way up to 1900 at the least. Uh, of course, our algorithm tracks all asset classes, uh, and the reason we do that is because uh, the more asset classes you cover, the more insights you get on the movement uh, on any single one of them. So if stocks are going up, that means gold goes nowhere. Uh, if stocks are going down, that means it's off the races for gold. And by the way, oil collapses, bonds go through the roof, the dollar is strong, and so on. So you cover everything, you have a good handle on what any one thing is going to do at all times. This is why we call the market initially of 1920, after that 2200, after that uh, 3000. Uh, algorithm buys here, here, and here. And of course, at this point, we're just running our longs. Uh, if you like gold, you have to like gold miners. And this is the uh, gold miners uh, ETF, the GDX. And you can see we had the long sideways correction, which is actually quite bullish and then the upside breakout in January. 
Notice also that gold started moving about three weeks before stocks topped out, or actually more than a month. So that was another good tell uh, that the market, stock market was about to end, uh, and that was the bullish price action in both bonds and in gold. Uh, Barrick Gold, if you like gold miners, you have to like the biggest miner in the world, and that is uh, Barrick Gold. Got to buy here in November, another buy in December, and uh, we're looking at substantial new highs from here. We're already up 50% from the November lows, which is not bad. Uh, of course, there's another alternative investment opportunity. It's essentially a sector of one. It's where the future lies. Tesla's cumulative production will hit uh, 1 million cars uh, this month. Battery costs have dropped by 80% over the last 10 years and will fall by another 80% over the next 10 years. Second factory in Shanghai increased production from 400,000 to 550 this year. Uh, next year, they're bringing out a Model Y small SUV based on the Tesla 3 chassis uh, and the Cyber pickup truck, which looks like it comes from Mars. I'm actually on the waiting list to get the Cyber pickup truck so I can make it up to Lake Tahoe and back on a single charge. US electric cars have risen from 0% 10 years ago to 4% of the market today, and they are a very large part of the luxury market. And we will have 100% electric car sales in 20 years. Uh, the life of the existing car fleet uh, for gasoline cars is 15 years, so it's gonna take us 15 years to cycle through the entire fleet and move everything to electric, and the prices keep falling. Um, uh, you know, when I bought my first Tesla 11 years ago, the battery cost was $35,000. Uh, today it's under $10,000 and I'm getting um, far more range than I was 10 years ago because of software improvements. Tesla's already outselling all premium car brands uh, in the U.S. combined, including Mercedes, BMW, Audi, and Jaguar, and they have a head 10 year head start on technology, which no one will ever catch up on. Uh, Tesla will become the world's largest car company within a decade. If I'm wrong, it'll be in five years, and that has caused the shares to go ballistic. Uh, I actually bought Tesla after the IPO bombed in 2010 at $16.50 a share. It has risen 60 times since then. So. Six ten baggers is what we got out of this so far. Our last buy was uh, uh, back here in October. We got it at, actually in June. We got it at one hundred and eighty dollars a share, and after that, it rose more than five times. Here we're out of it. We're not doing anything. We think it's wildly overbought. What happened with Tesla is once we broke to uh, new highs right here. Uh, above 392, um, the, um, uh, the short covering started. And um, uh, margin calls got hit, shorts had to cover. They then immediately put the shorts back out again because they so believed that Tesla was going to zero. That happened again and again and again and again, and it's still happening. As a result, uh, Tesla's created the largest short selling loss in history. It's over $15 billion at this point, and it looks set to increase. Obviously, you know, I'd like to see the stock drop back to the 200 day moving average before I get back again, but I might settle for the 50 day moving average here at 586. We think eventually the stock goes to 2,500 by 2025. So yeah, this, there's another uh, potential 10 bagger in this. Uh, if not a five bagger. Uh, this is my latest Tesla. This is the $162,000 fully tricked out with ludicrous mode. Uh, it goes zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Warning, if you go zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds, bring lots of air sick bags. You lift it off the airlines because your passengers may not react so well. If you want to keep that new car smell, have lots of barf bags in the car, people get air sick very easily. I'm immune to air sickness because I'm a combat pilot, not so for my kids. 
Uh, this is my first Tesla, which I bought 11 years ago, and uh, it was number 125 off the assembly line, and even the best design in the world won't help you from a drunk driver on Christmas Eve. So uh, I took the car to a shop, completely took it to pieces. A lot of people talk about Tesla, very few have taken them apart. Back here you can see the uh, 125 or the 1100 pound battery pack, which gives you a 300 mile range. Uh, uh, you also have the uh, carbon fiber wheel wells that make it the safest car in the world. Uh, in five years, the whole car will be made out of carbon fiber, which is one-tenth the weight, uh, but five times the strength of regular steel. Right now, the panels are made out of aluminum. So, uh, And this is the part, also the biggest cost uh, part of the car, and that is also dropped from 35,000 to under 10,000 in 10 years. Uh, don't play with matches. You could probably do okay just buying all the stocks I just mentioned and forgetting about them. However, the reality is the conditions for these companies change every day. Uh, they are all viciously competing each other, trying to put each other out of business. If you don't get daily updates on the fundamentals, you could easily get wiped out. You can bet there are a lot of people getting wiped out this week who had too much leverage. Today's big winner could instantly become tomorrow's loser. That's why you need someone like me to guide you through the thicket to avoid an out of the, out of the blue blow up. I gained financial independence for life uh, and so can you. All of this can be yours. Discover how to make uh, thousands of dollars a year in extra income. Go from complete beginner to seasoned pro in weeks. Learn how to quit your day job and trade for a living full time. Trade from anywhere, anytime. Supplement your retirement income with the satisfaction of booking winning trades by the hundreds. And you really can trade uh, anywhere, anytime you want. That's me sending out a trade alert from North Africa. And I'm trying to, as hard as I can to smile because it's 120 degrees. When those winds come off the Sahara Desert, it's really incredible. The harsh truth is you really need my help. The majority of individual traders lose money in the market. Uh, they lack correct training and discipline to succeed. Most broker research suffers from grievous conflicts of interest. Uh, Wall Street is about moving money from the uneducated to the educated. Uh, the easy solution to that problem is to get educated. Uh, Fidelity did a 20-year study and learned that the top performing investors were dead people. Uh, why do dead people do so well? Well, uh, when the uh, market goes up for 20 years, they don't sell. Dead people never sell. Uh, and that is why they do so well in the market. So uh, this is a picture of me next to Pinocchio. And uh, Let's see, let me check something here. Uh, okay, well, I see somebody just placed an order and I haven't even placed the order yet. Uh, Fausto, if you want to put the link to the sales page in the chat box uh, so people can access it now, um, then uh, they can look at the description of our service. In the meantime, I'll go on with my presentation. Uh, that's a picture of me in the uh, northern Italy, which is now quarantined, by the way, because uh, the Chinese love Pinocchio. Uh, and I'm obviously getting broker from my Pinocchio broker here. You need a real pro to guide you through the market maze. The market is not monolithic, and 95% of it can be completely ignored. One of the big problems I see individuals do is wasting their time uh, reading through mountains of research, and it's all utterly useless. They don't know where to focus their research efforts on. That's my full-time job. There are a few great sectors out there and a lot of truly awful ones. I mentioned a lot of the awful ones today, like energy and banking. There are a lot more besides just those. You can earn a 10 times return on the great one, but get completely wiped out by the losers. Let a 50-year veteran steer you to safe waters. 
Uh, let me sit next to and guide your hand on every winning trade. Uh, this is my secret weapon, of course. This is the Mad Hedge Market Timing Index. This is an artificial intelligence driven algorithm that analyzes 30 different economic, technical, and momentum driven indicators. And today it was reading 23, which means we're almost at the strong buy uh, part of the market. Where was this in January? It was at 95, which is, means sell everything. And that's exactly what we did. And we were richly rewarded for that. Why do you need an algorithm? Well, uh, uh, why use a toolbox missing its most important tool? Algorithms have become so dominant in the market, you should never trade without one. It does the work of a seasoned 100 man research department in seconds. It runs real time and optimizes returns with the addition of every new data point far faster than any human can. Imagine a trading strategy that updates itself 30 times a day. Don't go to a gunfight with a knife. You are trading against algos alone, you will lose. Algorithms provide you with a defined systematic trading discipline that will enhance your profits. Uh, I'm not the only one using algorithms. I was walking along the Miami uh, waterfront last year and I saw this super yacht and guess what it's called? Algorithm. Clearly algorithms are working for more than just me. Uh, in fact, some 80 to 90 percent of all current trading in the market is algorithm driven. Uh, this is three years of profit predictor performance. Uh, whenever the market gets up to uh, the 80 level, that issues a strong buy. Whenever it gets down below 20, a uh, strong sell, like uh, get below 20, that's a strong buy. And we get buy, sell, buy, sell several times a year, enough to make several round trip. And this works not only on the main market index, but each individual asset class like gold, commodities, energy, foreign exchange, bonds, and so on. Uh, this is an example of uh, how our algorithm is done over the last three years. Uh, the S&P 500 was up 59% over a three year period. We were up 113%. So we're doing more than double the S&P 500 uh, using this algorithm for our short term market timing. Bill was a struggling tobacco farmer in Virginia who wanted to supplement his fading uh, income. After making 3.4 million with the mad hedge fund trader, he still farms, but he's now growing grapes in California's Napa Valley for the high end wineries. Philip was tired of working in the boom and bust of the oil and gas industry. After doubling his money every year for several years, he now earns a generous living as a full-time trader. Jackie was an Australian hospital administrator who turned $50,000 into 2 million with the help of me and became a major player in technology stocks. She retired in her 50s and now spends her time cruising around the world. This is a picture she sent me from the Queen Mary. So what do we do about all this? Well, stocks, you want to buy a bigger dip. Bonds, you want to stand aside. Commodities, you want to buy dips. Energy, stand aside. Uh, currencies, you want to sell this current dollar rally. And uh, precious metals, you want to buy the dips. And it looks like the Dow just gave up uh, our 450 point rally. We're now down 100 on the day. Uh, so, uh, if you were not up 55.86% last year as I was, you are reading the wrong newsletter or following the wrong trade mentoring service. 46.61% uh, was our trailing uh, one year return. And as of last week, we were at an all time high. 35.30% uh, is our average annualized return for the last 10 years. Uh, it isn't just a matter of me getting lucky this year and only playing tech stocks. This has been working for 10 years. And you can see we stop out of losses very quickly, minimize our drawdowns, uh, and it's basically sideways up, sideways up, sideways up. Uh, this can be your performance too, if you let me uh, help you. Uh, if you get this kind of performance, there's certain things you get to do that other people don't do, like 
take the Queen Mary II from New York to Southampton, England, in the owner's suite, which is a bargain at $55,000 for the week. Once you get there, you can take the Orient Express from London to Venice. Warning, every dinner is black tie, so be sure and pack in two extra tuxedos uh, so you can eat. And when you get to Venice, you can go island hopping in your own private helicopter. Certainly beats waiting in all those long lines. Uh, now here's the really important part about this uh, webinar. Uh, this is the very, very long view for what the markets are gonna do. The 2000s and the 2010s were the hard decades for making money. The 2020s and the 2030s will be the easy ones as a global demographic wave brings on a new golden age. 85 million millennials will become the next big spenders over the next 15 years, while 80 million baby boomers, a drag on the economy, fade from the scene. That will create an economic boom that will last another decade starting in 2021. And that's me in Zermatt, Switzerland, watching climbers come down from the Matterhorn. Uh, here's what the Dow average did in from 1982 to 2000, up 20 times in 18 years. We went from 600 to 12,000 in 18 years. Are you ready for a replay? Well, uh, if you take the 2009 bottom, take it up 20 times in 18 years, that gets up to 120,000 in the Dow by 2027. If you think I'm smoking something in California or I'm out of my tree, we're already halfway there. If you take us from the 2009 bottom all the way up until the peak last week, we rose from 9,000 to 29,000. That's nearly 400%. All I'm calling for is another 400% move over the next 10 years to take us to 120,000. Uh, except this time it's different. The last time we had this great 18 year run, we only had three technologies. We had cheaper computers, cheap operating software, and a new internet. The 2020s will have 10 times this number of technology drivers. Technology is hyper accelerating on all fronts simultaneously. The development of functional quantum computers means that computational ability is about to increase tenfold. The world's major uh, computational challenges will certainly be solved, such as weather forecasting, cancer cures, and yes, stock market predictions. You think the algorithms are tough to compete against now, wait another couple of years. They will own the market. All major human diseases will be cured within 10 years. Live another decade and you'll have a shot at living to 150, if you want to. Needless to say, tech and biotech stocks dominate in this scenario and will account for the bulk of stock market gains in our lifetimes. And this is a picture of a quantum computer which will uh, lead the next revolution in uh, uh, computer science. So who will show you how to play the next 95,000 Dow points? Uh, sit with me, John Thomas, the mad hedge fund trader and my global trading dispatch. Discover how you can tap into the top performing trade mentoring service in the industry, up 55.86% in volatile markets. Follow my research and market beating trade alerts and you will rake the profits in. Let a marine combat pilot steer you to big profits. We trade single stocks, options, and ETFs for global equities, bonds, foreign exchange, energy, commodities, precious metals, and real estate. In other words, you're trading everything all the time, both the long and the short. Every trade alert we send out has a recommendation for a single stock, an option, and an ETF. And this is one of the planes I fly when I'm in England. Notice the it's a 1932 de Havilland Tiger Moth made out of Norwegian spruce and Irish linen. Notice the design flaws gas tank directly over your head, and it has a very high tendency to flip over if you don't land correctly. Also, it has no brakes, so it means you can only land on grass fields and coast to a stop and hope for the best. Uh, yeah, I like to fly antique airplanes uh, in my free time.
this is a typical trading month uh, that we have. Uh, did 10 out of 11 trade alerts that were profitable. Uh, we bought the S&P 500, made a 16% profit, sold short U.S. Treasuries, made 8%, bought the Russell 2000, made 14%, bought Amazon, Apple, went short the Biogen, uh, unfortunately, a certain presidential suite, a tweet about drug pricing caused the stock to fall away, and we stopped out of it very quickly for a 21% loss. After that, we jumped into Palo Alto Networks, sold the yen, sold treasuries, bought the spies, bought gold. Uh, you know, when, when it's easy to stop out of losing positions when you know 90% of the time the next trade is a winner. Just a matter of time before tech and biotech stocks break out to new all-time highs. This corona thing probably will be over in a couple of months. Watch this space melt up uh, going into the end of 2020. Get ready to start really in those whoppers with Global Trading Dispatch. And yes, that is a 24-inch rainbow trout, which I caught at Pyramid Lake in Northern Nevada. Here's how it works. Uh, we spotted the probability of Micron technology making a major move up. So we sent out a trade alert and it looked like this. It says buy Micron technology at 4201 or best. It's an opening trade, portfolio weighting of 10%. Number of shares you needed to buy for a $10,000 exposure was 238 shares. Uh, what happened? We got exactly the move that we predicted. 15.63% profit in 15 trading days. Did we sit back and pat ourselves on the back and expect the customers to take care of themselves? No, we sent out another trade alert. It said, take profits, sell Micron technology at 48.58 or best, closing trade. And we made $1,563 risking $10,000 on this particular trade. Uh, so these are some of our big winners. NVIDIA, I already talked about. We expect this to at least double from these levels. Uh, LAM Research, we got 77% in 10 months. Baidu, we got 2,240% uh, in 10 years. Uh, with my Global Trading Dispatch service, you get a daily research letter uh, telling you why everything in the world is going up and down and looking for the best trading opportunities. Instant trade alerts sent out at market sweet spots, about 200 a year. We tend to bunch up buys at market bottoms and bunch up sells at market tops. Live bi-weekly strategy webinars like this one with an interactive Q&A, special reports on urgent investment topics, uh, invitations to strategy luncheons around the world, about 25 a year, more educational uh, <laughs> I see the orders are coming in still. Uh, yeah, okay, thank you very much, um, David, for signing up and I look forward to working with you. Uh, okay, uh, invitations to strategy luncheons around the world. I just did five lunches in Australia, Fiji and Guadalcanal, if you like to get out a lot. Uh, more educational videos and webinars than you can consume in a lifetime access to a 12-year database on investment ideas, searchable by names. I'll even give you the name of a good surfing school in North Africa. Warning, it's a lot harder than it looks. I can't remember how many times that damn board hit me in the face. Uh, this is what I'm not gonna charge you for this service. I'm not gonna charge you $100,000. That's what I charge my big hedge fund clients and they're happy to pay me because I make them millions of dollars. And I'm not gonna charge you $10,000. That's what I charge my concierge clients who get my personal cell phone number so I can act as their uh, investment 911. And I'm not gonna charge you $5,000. That's what I charge my advanced option trading clients. And I'm not gonna charge you $3,000. That's the cheapest price on my website for Global Trading Dispatch and the lowest I have ever offered. This is the real deal. Costing this product cost me millions of dollars with the best customer service in the industry. Running it cost me millions more. Today and only through this webinar, you can get six months uh, for just $996. That is a 66% discount 
to the cheapest price on our website, there should be a link in the chat box on the right. Just click that. It'll take you to a dedicated sales page uh, that is only available through this webinar right now. Don't bother emailing me later because we're only making this offer right now uh, as a favor for Fausto, who's an old buddy of mine. We get together every year in Vegas. Uh, so six months for just $996. Uh, this is a limited time offer. We only take 25 new subscribers at a time. So it's first come, first serve. I can't wait to make you a top drawer trader. Just click the link in the chat box. Uh, let me make the money for you to pay for your own subscription. You make the trades. Discover how an experienced hedge fund manager finds and exploits the best sweet spots in any market. Just click on the chat box on the right. And 90% of our customers, new customers, cover the entire cost of the trade uh, of, of the service on the first trade. So click on the chat box on the right, just $996 for six months. Uh, if you buy now, you will get my 2020 all asset class review as a bonus. And that gives you my outlook for the entire year on stocks, bonds, foreign exchange, energy, precious metals, commodities, and real estate. You need a real gunslinger to help you in this kind of market. I'm happy to fill those shoes. Uh, also, if you buy now, you'll receive an instant trade alert executable right now, the second we finish this webinar, with an extremely high probability of success. Uh, you can make some of the most serious money in your life. Don't leave good money on the table. And don't forget, 90% of our followers cover the cost of the service on the first trade. And this is the first trade, which you can get right now. Uh, to even give you a little tease, this is the chart of the trade alert. I took off the prices and the names, so you have to guess or buy the service to find out what it is. What you don't know is whether this is a buy recommendation or a sell recommendation by my service to find out. You have to go through a thousand charts to find this one that's good. Let me do the heavy lifting for you. So just six months for just $996. I see a Another order has come through, uh, and let me see who this is. And this is uh, Bonnie from Streamwood, Illinois. Thank you very much for signing up. It's going to be a pleasure. We always like to have more lady traders with us. They often come up with great investment ideas that we regular guys can't see. So just six months for just $996. Let me check my email. We have another one that's just come through here. And that is James from uh, Dahlonega, Georgia. For some reason, we have a huge following in Georgia. And for that reason, I usually try to have a strategy lunch in Atlanta once a year so I can meet all of you in person. Okay, we have another one here, Bill in San Diego. I uh, got an email from him. He loves my Tesla play. Uh, and he has a Tesla Model 3 himself and absolutely loves it, okay? Uh, another order here we have here from Andy in Sarasota, Florida. Uh, we do have an awful lot of Floridas. I try to get to Miami, uh, Orlando, or one of the big cities once a year. Uh, and I think it has something to do with no income tax in Florida. We actually have very large followings in all the large no tax states like Texas, Nevada, and Florida. Okay, let's see who else is coming through here so I can say thank you. Um, okay, here is Pierre from Montreal, Canada. Uh, thank you for signing up, Pierre. I promise to get to Canada soon, but that'll be a summer luncheon, not a winter one. Okay, uh, more orders coming through. We're actually, more, we're actually getting close to the 25 limit. The uh, sales page automatically cuts off at 25. So if you're kind of leaning on the fence now, time to move in, uh, place that order. Okay, let's see who else is coming here. We have Robert from San Francisco. Thank you very much, Robert. I look forward to uh, uh, working with you and I hope you're enjoying the nice weather today. Okay, another order here from 
Uh, let's see. Let, let me see. Look at the name. Da, 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 da. Okay. Let me go through these. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. We have. Uh, there's so many here. Let me see if I can pick out an interesting one. Okay. Here's one from Tasmania, Australia. I don't. I think I already have somebody in Tasmania. Maybe I should get you two together, uh, Bill. But thank you very much for signing. Uh, up with us. Look forward to working with you. It should be a lot of fun. So, uh, Fausto, I have about a minute to go here. Uh, do you have any other final questions you want me to answer? No, I think that was fun. I think it was great. Thanks for having us again. It's always nice seeing you again, Tom. And, and uh, it's always great to see you in, in the Vegas event that we do and meet us and, and meet up there again. And, uh, you know, hopefully everybody takes up, takes uh, John up on his offers. Listen, one of the biggest things I always tell everybody, if you're around this long, you're obviously doing something right. So um, <laughs> that's the most important thing. I mean, you know, you get a lot of people that come around and we know education, you know, it's a big business. It's even in college, you know, 72,000 to go to college for one semester or a quarter million. I don't know where they get that price when they say, oh, the kids are in debt for 30,000 school debt. No, yeah, not one. Not the little kids I speak to, but um, but we but we all know how important.